Hi, um, today I'm going to show you how to make biltong. For those of you that don't know what it is, basically it's meat that's been spiced and dried out. It's quite a, a nice thing to eat. First of all, um, you need to make yourself a box. Basically you can just use a cardboard box, quite a long one like that. And what you want to do is to cut some slots in the bottom of the box your air to flow through from the bottom. I'll explain that later. I've cut two slots in the box on each side and then one slot about third or the way up on opposite sides. The top of the box is open. I just taped it up to make it a bit longer there. So basically you're going to just need a light bulb such as this one which I've sort of modified for my purposes here. This light I'll put in the bottom of the box. I've put some tin foil there so that it reflects the heat off the bottom and also uh, when your meat is hanging in there the blood may drip down so that's to stop it getting onto the box. So we're basically going to put the light in the center of the box in the bottom See it at that angle and just push the plug through on the side to one of the holes. So that will plug into the mains. So the light bulb just sits in the center of the box. Plug that in. Right. That's your heat to dry out the meat, basically. Then the next thing you want is a shelf. Just a piece of wood like this will do. I've drilled a whole series of holes in there for the warm air to get through from the bottom. That's where the slot comes into it. You just kind of slot that through and then it sits in the box. I'll grab the camera just now to show you from above. And basically that's to stop the blood dripping down onto the light bulb, you drill the holes round on the sides of the piece of wood. The light sits in the center so no blood drips on that. Then you just take something like this to hang your built-on hooks on with the meat. This is just an old shelf from a freezer. Put that on top. Your meat hooks will then hang onto there. The meat hangs down. The air gets drawn in through the bottom, gets warmed up by the light bulb and you get that slow heat coming up through the box. Drying the meat out in three to four days, then it's ready to eat. I'll show you the part of um, actually making the biltong in a minute. I'll just grab the microphone here to show you. That's from the top of the box, so I'll just take that off. So that's your shelf, there's just a piece of wood that I've put in there with the holes in it and if I slide that out, there's your light bulb, the tin foil, so that just fits into the slots there, that on top, simple easy way to make a biltong drying box. As I say, for those of you who don't know what biltong is, you don't know what you're missing, you need to try it. I'm going to show you next how to make that. And then I'll show you the stuff once I've hung it in the box. Uh, maybe in a few days time once it's dry.